We are back at 740. Millions of people are expected to line the streets of Washington, New York, and Philadelphia this week, hoping to catch a glimpse of Pope Francis during his six-day trip to the U.S. Of course, it all begins with his arrival a little later today. NBC News special anchor Maria Shriver will be reporting on the Pope's trip for us all week long. Maria, good to have you here. Good morning. Thank you, Matt. Excited. Uh, people of the Catholic faith, very excited. Pope Francis has been called the people's pope and a rock star. And with this first visit to the United States, he hopes to re-energize the faithful and open the doors of the church with a message of inclusion for all. Millions show up just for a glimpse. He is a pope who has inspired many, Catholics and non-Catholics alike, from the very start. Dressed in a simple white robe, he became Pope Francis in March 2013 in honor of the patron saint for the poor and has walked in his steps ever since. I think he's been a breath of fresh air for the Catholic Church. Um, he has been a man who has called people to a simple way of life. Everybody refers to him as the people's pope and I think he's been very outgoing and engaging to people. Over the last two years, this media-savvy pontiff has used the spotlight to expose the world to the plight of those who suffer. One of his first acts as pope shocked many. He washed the feet of inmates in Rome. In his public audiences, he often breaks free from the pope mobile security, seeking out the suffering. And his dinner guests at the Vatican have included the homeless, his actions sending a powerful message. I've definitely seen images of him reaching out to people that I don't even know if necessarily I would be talking to on the street. And he's this big public figure, and I think it sends a really great message. And Francis is a pope of surprises. Just weeks ago, an unscheduled stop to buy glasses in Rome drew a huge crowd of fans. Pope Francis reportedly insisting on the way out that the clerk charge him full price. On a trip to Naples, the Pope accepted a pizza delivery to the Pope Mobile. And on a trip to Brazil, his motorcade took a wrong turn into one of the worst neighborhoods in Rio. What did he do? He rolled down his window and blessed the crowd. It's not like, turn the car around, get back, you know, it was just like, well, I'm here, I might as well spend some time with these people, you know, and that's, I think, what has been the thing that has attracted people to him. He hasn't shied away from controversy, addressing hot-button issues, calling it a moral duty to protect the environment, encouraging immigration reform, and even taking on capitalism. He has encouraged forgiveness for women who have had abortions, has moved to make annulments for divorced couples easier, and in addressing homosexuality, he said simply, who am I to judge? His words of inclusion and of mercy resonate with many. His openness and his compatibility to more than just Catholics, to the Jewish culture, and to accept everybody, um, even the gay lesbian groups. Pope Francis says he is open to continued discussion of these issues while staying true to church doctrine, but not ignoring the modern world we live in, participating in a Google Hangout Embracing social media, he tweets in nine languages and even taking selfies in St. Peter's Square. Somebody said that he was like just as famous as Justin Bieber, just as cool as him or something. I thought that was pretty funny. Well, the Pope has never been to America before. And on this first visit to the country, he has said he just really wants to meet the people here. He wants to get to know them, listen to him. So we're here going to try to help him out with that. And we'd like to know what you think. So we hope you'll send us your thoughts on what you think it means to be a good Catholic using the hashtag state of faith. Good Catholic. Yeah, it'd be interesting to hear the comments on that. I also want to tell people that you'll join us tomorrow morning live on the South Lawn of the White House for the Pope's historic meeting with the president. And you're going to be back a little later in this show with more of our Do You Believe series this morning. The man behind a provocative new take on the story of Adam and Eve. Maria, thank you. We'll thank see you, you tomorrow.